Vice President Joe Biden said today the Obama administration's auto industry bailout plan brought the industry back from, quote, the brink of extinction. But analysts say there are still many miles to go, as Tony Guida explains. Like a driver caught in rush hour gridlock, the U.S. auto industry is making progress toward recovery, but it's a frustrating ride. The industry has been like a patient on life support. They've been getting better and better, but then they keep getting cold as well. From Japan, where an earthquake in March heavily damaged the nation's ability to produce cars and auto parts. And from Main Street, where consumers are struggling to keep their jobs in their homes. But the industry does have reason to jump for joy. This flashy opening of a new Volkswagen plant in Tennessee this week, and with it, 2,000 new jobs. GM's recent decision to add a third shift at its Hamtramck plant near Detroit, making Chevrolet Volts and other models around the clock. 2,500 jobs. And Chrysler's celebration Tuesday when it paid back all of the government loans that kept it from shutting down two years ago. And from that moment forward, we were able to take our destiny back into our hands. Fiat believes enough in Chrysler to take majority control of the automaker. That will happen next week. The new owner providing new muscle, just as Chrysler turned its first profit in five years. U.S. automakers sold only about 10 million cars and trucks at the industry's low point two years ago. Last year improved to nearly 11 and a half million. This year's projections are for nearly 13 million units. Nice progress, but still off historic highs. We don't expect the, to see the industry get back to full levels of 16 million units for several years. Not until the gridlock of too few jobs and too many foreclosed homes clears. Tony Guida, CBS News, New York.